I right, want to make a video about people who compare Battlefield 3 to Modern Warf Warfare 3. And I really wish that people would stop doing that because they are two totally different games. I mean, it's the same genre, but the thing is, it's, it's two totally different style of gaming. Alright, Modern Warfare 3 and, and the entire Modern Warfare series, the Call of Duty series, is basically your uh, <clears throat> arcade first person shooter it's geared towards fast pace running gun arcade type shooting fun okay it's a frag fest it's something you pick up real quick and play for about 15 20 30 minutes and then you drop it and you, you know you go and do something else okay so it's this tic-tac-toe gameplay okay I shoot you you shoot me I hope that uh, by the end of the game that I have shot you more than you shot me that's all that is okay now Battlefield 3 is more of a <clears throat> oh, what you call a war sim okay and in Battlefield 3 you get to do everything you do in pretty much real life uh, drive a Jeep drive a vehicle drive a tank you know you get into a helicopter or a jet fighter uh, there's all the, the weapons that you have in Modern Warfare 3, you have in Battlefield 3. Uh, it's it's like a, you know, the game mechanics, the gameplay, the running gun it may not be good as Modern Warfare 3. But it is more of a war sim game. So it gives you more things to do and the objectives that you have to fulfill, you're kind of forced into fulfilling because you you um, have to advance forward to take over uh, uh, enemy positions and if you don't advance forward you're pretty much you're gonna be by yourself and you're not gonna be doing anything so by you seeking the enemy out and killing the enemy you're fulfilling the objective and you're taking over enemy position and you're gaining ground is even though you may not be interested in fulfilling the objectives of the game you you're kinda like you have to because if you don't you're not gonna find the fight um, but in modern warfare 3 or modern warfare 2 or or 1 doesn't matter you don't have to fulfill the objective you don't even have to try to win all you're doing is you don't even have to run around you just sit still the enemies come to you or or eventually the enemies will run a full 360 degrees through the whole map and find you or you'll do the same and find them okay so and you can forget about the objectives okay it's just a frag fest let me tell you I just saw this trailer for uh, the jet fighters man I'm telling you th that sequence there where you you're when, where you're in a jet fighter my god that looks better than some flight sim dedicated flight sim games I've seen I mean that shit look really good I mean it looked better than some of the ace combat games um, and those are just dedicated flight sim games uh, and uh, it looks really good um, and the gameplay looks really good too so uh, I'm putting my money on Battlefield 3 uh, I figure that uh, you know Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 I did not get Black Ops so please don't even ask to play Black Ops with me I don't have it um, I think that uh, running gun and for frag festing and running around in circles you know is is I'm done I'm done with it if I feel like doing that I'll play Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 1 I mean 4 and get new map packs for it or whatever and be done with it uh, I'm not interested in continuing on the uh, storyline or, or whatever um, from what I hear is starting to get silly so I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get uh, Modern Warfare 3 or uh, Black Ops um, if I feel like playing Call of Duty I will be playing Modern Warfare 2 and I bought the new map pack for it so um, that's gonna have to do but uh, I'm really looking forward to this Battlefield, Battlefield 3 uh, my god this just I, I mean this jet sequence 
um, that I just saw is amazing. I mean, the flight sim part and the shooting looks awesome. It looks great. Uh, it looks better than a lot of your dedicated flight sim shooters, you know. So anyway, really looking forward to this game. Um, tell me how you feel you guys are going to get which one. Which, which one are you going to get? Uh, are you going to get the Modern Warfare 3 or Battlefield 3? Are you going to get both? Uh, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, I don't see the need to waste money on ba uh, Modern Warfare 3 because unless you're into the story and you want to know what the next story is going to be, um, I just don't see it being a major improvement over what Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4 was. Uh, it's a first person shooter. They have pretty much mastered it. Uh, the gameplay is pretty good uh, I don't see how it's going to get any better so anyway um, mainstream modern warfare or uh, the PC niche slash console uh, fanatic uh, niche battlefield 3 which one do you choose uh, I'd be honest with you um I'm kind of I'm kind of disappointed that uh, of myself that I didn't get Battlefield 2. Uh, I did play the demo. I did like it, but um, I got caught up with Mag, you know, and uh, I just didn't see the need to get Battlefield 2 because I was so having so much fun with Mag, and I still do. Uh, trust me. Um, but uh, Battlefield 3 looks like uh, the best of both worlds. It looks like it's going to be like a modern warfare type of game with mag type of uh, you know objectives and 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 uh, in depth gameplay. So and 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 the vehicles are added in there. So it definitely adds even more to that chemistry. So I'm looking forward to Battlefield 3. That's my um, that's my choice uh, this time around. What is it uh, gonna be for you? Thanks for watching.